So Guns N' Hoses started uh, out of an idea for a charity event to raise money and awareness uh, to help firefighters and law enforcement officers around 9-11. And uh, right after Detective John Falcone died in the city of Poughkeepsie, Jeff Mosman from the city of Poughkeepsie Fire Department reached out to Ed Fenichel uh, from the city of Poughkeepsie Police Department to start this event. It's had a big impact in all of our lives, being able to give to you know people who need it. I think it's been awesome, you know what I mean? It's a chance for the community to come out and support, you know what I mean? The FD, the PD, EMS, um, you know what I mean? We go out and do our jobs every day and sometimes put our lives on the line and put our families on hold. So it's just a, a good celebration to see the community come out and support us and it uh, means a lot to us. We're able to help uh, law enforcement officers and firefighters who become sick or hurt uh, or God forbid killed uh, while in service. Um, the other things we've been able to add are helping children uh, and scholarships. We've been able to uh, do two scholarships now. The goal of Guns and Hoses is to raise money for firemen and police and their families if the need so arises. We decided we're going to name our second scholarship for Jack Rose, who was a captain in a fire department in Ulster County and he died you know, in the line of duty. Such some support in the community, not only from law enforcement and from the fire service, but our business partners. Uh, we said, hey, we can make this a real organization. And through the help of the Hudson Valley Community Foundations, we were able to do that. You know, at events like this, help raise money, you know, we're all a brotherhood. You know, all, all police, we're all a brotherhood. You know, we can be a cop from another country, and they're all, they're all our brothers and sisters. So we do the major event, the 9-11 memorial event we do, which is softball and baseball, um, along with the, the nice memorial, uh, remembering September 11th and those lost. Uh, we also added a hockey event, and the hockey event is in March and it's at the Brewster Ice Arena, who have been so gracious to give us uh, their ice time and their restaurant um, for that day. Um, a lot of cops and firemen and, and law enforcement guys play a lot of different sports, and hockey's one of them. And I'll tell you, people who play hockey are, are dedicated, not only dedicated to their profession you know, that we're talking about, but dedicated to that sport. If you've ever seen a live hockey game, there's nothing better to watch. So we get a great crowd. It's packed every year. We raise a lot of money, we raise a lot of awareness, and we're able to help a lot more people. We'll only continue to grow bigger and better. More activities in Dutchess County, as well as our other counties that we serve, or we're gonna try to come up with ideas to branch out. We want to expand on our events. We want to uh, help the community out, and we want to make sure we're hitting all four counties that we encompass, which is um, Dutchess, Orange, Ulster, and Putnam. We've lost five heroes since uh, Guns and Hoses pretty much started. Detective John Falcone was kind of the, the start. And that's the reason Guns N' Hoses was, was, was started, is the community came together to try to support the city of Poughkeepsie Police Department. And Jack uh, Rose from Ulster County we lost last year. Tim Gunther from the city of Poughkeepsie Fire Department we lost at a fire. We've lost Eric Meyer, who was a sergeant across the river. And we lost Chris Cutterback, who was a new deputy sheriff in Dutchess County uh, in an off-duty accident. And each one of those guys has, has touched us. You know, and, and we know all their families and we've reached out to all of them and you know, tried to support them as much as, as humanly possible as a community, as a law enforcement and fire service community. You know, we pray that we never have to do it again, but we know it's inevitable.